Om Shanti. Just settle in for a few minutes. Allow yourself to relax. Experience peace and quiet. Find that stillness. Go right there. You have experience now. Settle in. Settle in and settle down. This is the comfort zone tonight. We need comfort. We need refuge. Relax. Relax deeply. Tell yourself right now, relax. You had a minute to pop in, so just stay for a minute. And now let the day the worry, the anxiety, the to-do list. Let everything go. Let it all go. Take time for you. In this moment, you are in the driver's seat. In this moment, I am in control. And it's perfectly okay to do nothing, to breathe in, and to completely relax as I breathe out. Remember that adjective, completely. I completely relax. Finally. No thoughts. And as thoughts come to me tonight, I let them go very easily. I focus on being gentle, calm, and present. Gentle, calm, and present. And now that I've arrived in my comfort zone, Think about unity. I think about unity. It's just something we all need as a country. Most of what's going on is causing a divide. Even myself. I'm part of the division with my thoughts, aren't I? Because my opinion, my thoughts, I'm right. And I'm putting out that energy, even though I say I want peace. I want peace if you would think like me. I want peace if you, the ex-party, would just do this. It's up to you, it's up to everyone out there. I point that finger. I I pass blame and judgment. But if I want true harmony, if I want unity, I have to settle my thoughts down. 
I have to know that every event that is occurring was supposed to happen. And now I think about those events. I know what we're talking about tonight just a week ago. The violence. People that are angry. And if I sit on the left, I didn't say they were extremists. I lumped everyone on the right into that bucket. And I was unfair for doing that. Because not everyone on the right is an extremist. And so I pause for a moment and I remember that I want to unify. And I no longer need to condemn because the event is in the past. Instead, I look forward, and the way that I unify is I have hope, I see change, and I don't question that change, I don't compare it to the past, I just say it will be right, everything is going to be okay, and too many people are worried. Too many of us are saying that things won't be okay. We've bought into fear. And therefore I haven't been unifying. I've been focused on fear because of, because of them. Because I point that finger. And I stop that. Who is them? As I meditate tonight in San Antonio, I see that some are watching from New Jersey, others from Florida, and I think about what's happening right around me in New Jersey or Florida or Texas, and I don't see that violence. All of those things are limited. There are few people who are extreme, and I have to remember that, and I know that my neighbors have a different point of view than me, but we can get along, and this is how I begin to think, we can get along, we should get along. Is it okay to say that I've been the cause of uncertainty? Is it okay to say that I've been the cause of questions? It is because I have been. I keep looking out and pointing that finger and blaming. And so tonight, in my comfort zone, I smile. The world, depending on how I focus, the world is a beautiful place. My neighbors are beautiful. My same neighbors that are on the other side of the political spectrum have grandchildren that they love and the grandchildren that love them back just like us. You see, they're really no different than you and I. And so I have to stop saying they're different. I have to stop blaming. And I absolutely have to stop sharing my opinion. My opinion is rooted in ego. And so if I want peace, I remember that my neighbor is the same as me, a soul. And they want peace. And so I spread those vibrations. And then I think about love. When I think about my neighbor as a grandparent with grandchildren, I see love. And now I think about my neighbor that's single. I think about all my neighbors. I think about people I see in Publix or ShopRite or HEB.
and I can love them by not having questions, by not judging them. The problem is I've been in this body, this physical body, and I see others in the body. And physically I judge. I can tell socioeconomic status. It's time to start recognizing that everyone is a soul. If I want peace in the world, it has to start with me. And so I contribute to unity by saying it's time to heal. And so I forgive others. And I certainly forgive myself. I do want peace in the world. And it does have to start with me. I've become gentle. The world is working for me. Everything I need is given to me. And I have an abundance. So why don't I strip away the politics? Why don't I strip away the virus? And why don't I just step back and say, wow, how fortunate am I? And I can unify by recognizing that my neighbors are also fortunate. We are all very fortunate. And we are one. We are not different. I control this, not those that hold office. And so I go within. And I start thinking about how my vibrations are contagious, how people receive that vibration, I'm not talking about words, and so what vibration do I want everyone to receive, I know what the answer is, it's the same thing I want to receive, peace, love, harmony, acceptance, unity. And so maybe I need courage to say, it's time for me to step forward. I won't be in office. I won't become the senator or the president. But my vibration makes a difference. And this is why I meditate. And my vibration now contributes positively to society. I know in the past I was polluting with my thoughts. January 14th. I remember looking forward to the new year. Letting go of the past saying that there would be newness and all that's gone already, huh? And so what am I doing with my days? What am I waiting for? It's time to step forward. It's time to know that I unify. I do not divide. It's time to stop saying who out there is dividing? And this can only happen when I go within. And when I know that I am the embodiment of peace, it's so draining to be involved in the world, to follow politics, and to really want others to get my point of view such a waste of time. So going forward, I 
think about using my time in a worthwhile way. And perhaps for me it's through silence. Perhaps I've been very vocal. And if I haven't been very vocal, perhaps it's through my new, pure, and positive intention. And then perhaps I can step back and tap into the ultimate vibration of the world. I've seen images that are in complete contrast to love, such as that rebel flag in the capital. And now I move away from the flag and I see the face of that person carrying the flag. And before that person became a man, that same person was someone's grandchild, smiling, happy, loving. You see, things happen to people along the way, and they choose to buy into darkness and say, I'm right, while others choose to see the light and stay in the light and not say I'm right. back to that person with the flag, without judgment, that was someone's son, and so when I saw that person with the flag, I began to judge, but unifying means I need to send love to even that soul, I don't know what went wrong along the way, and now hatred became so predominant. But I was equally wrong because I just wanted to judge and say, how dare you, and do you know what that flag means, and blah, blah, blah. But instead, I really forgive, I really forgive. And this is how love works. Because I've done wrong in the past, haven't I? Haven't I? I have done wrong in the past. I have committed great offenses, and sometimes people didn't see those things to judge me. I need to unify by giving love. Just giving love. And then I need to give more love. And if we were all to do this, I hold that vision. I hold that vision. And so now as we close, I look forward. Instead of looking at all that's bad, I look forward. There's newness coming. First email. Vice President, etc., etc. Maybe I should be focusing on those things more. There is newness coming out with the old and in with the new. If I'm going to look out, I have to have a positive outlook going forward, only a positive outlook. And if I cannot do this, I don't look out at all. I just go within. I take refuge within. I stay in that cocoon until I am strong enough to look out. And it's okay to just go within and take refuge and experience my sacred place just like I'm doing tonight in this comfort zone. So I have two choices. Look out or just stay within. It'll be okay. Don't look out waiting.
because that is contributing. Don't look out waiting for the violence to occur. To see what happens, to see what they do. Don't do that. Just go within. Everything will be okay. I'm giving love instead and maybe others will catch that vibration. I think we've seen enough. Done with the chaos. Because I said so. And now let's close together with a full minute of silence. And I want to think about the United States. I know what the United States looks like on the map. So see the outline in your head. And within those borders are my brothers and sisters. And as I see the United States, I send healing vibrations together, all of us. Love, healing, peace, and positive intentions. We shall overcome as a nation, but only when I hold hands with my neighbors, especially with those who have a different point of view. And as I close, I mean this. I see myself holding hands with others, sharing love, Spreading peace, smiling, feeling happy, knowing that this is how I unify. I no longer judge. I no longer have so many questions. I uplift. Get that before we close. I am a being of peace. I am.